guys, we've got a brand new release by LDRC and this Type RC car is totally new to me. Do you want to know why? Stay tuned! So guys, in today's video we've got a brand new type of RC car, well it's new to me. So this is a drift car and this is my first drift car that I own. And this one is made by LDRC and LDRC makes awesome RC cars. So the last one I reviewed from them was the Unimog and the Unimog had a 2 speed gearbox, portal axles and locking differentials and a lot more. And that thing was just great. But now they have produced a new type of drift car and this is the first one that I own. So it comes in this very nice pouch so let's open it up and see what's inside here. Inside the box you will find a very nice looking car. We've got the transmitter, some instructions, some trim, a screwdriver, a USB charger and we've got a 500 milliamp lithium ion battery. But let's have a close look at the transmitter first. The transmitter runs on two double A's which you need to supply of your own. So it is capable of running steering but the build quality feels a bit too plasticky in my opinion. Also the steering wheel, just look at this, there's a lot of play inside there and I'm not a big fan of that. So that's the on off switch, we've got the steering trim, we've got the uh, gyro sensitivity, the throttle weight, the steering rate and the light switch right over there. So the transmitter can be improved a little bit in my opinion. So let's have a closer look at the car now but before we do so I'm going to add all the trim and then I will come back to you. And here is the car guys, what do you think of it? Well I think that this car really looks amazing, just look at it, this is just a real GTR and I am already in love with this car. So this body is not made of plastic or lex and this is actually a die cast body, yes it's made of metal and therefore it's got some weight to it. So already I'm in love with it and LDRC thank you for making this beautiful RC car. So here in the front you will find the front bumper with some clear lenses and behind the lenses you will find indicators and headlights and we've got a lot of trim. So we've got door handles, we've got some wipers, mirrors, even a little light over there. So this is not functional, this is just the deco. And just look at the tires and rims. Yeah, I am really liking this model so far. So in the rear of the car you will find the wing or the spoiler with some uh, tail lights. And I think we've got also reverse light and brake lights, but we will find out in a bit. An exhaust right over there. Yeah, this car really looks amazing. Underneath the car you will find independent suspension in the front and in the rear. So this car is rear wheel driven which is fine for a drift car. So I can see metal drive shaft, metal cups and this car has got ball bearings inside there which is always a good thing. So this little piece is for the stabilization and for the suspension. So we even got some suspension in this car so that looks pretty nice. So this is the on off switch and we even got some inner fenders inside there and yeah I really like that. Oh uh, one thing what I really don't like is the battery tray. So you will find a little screw right over there which you have to undo if you want to install the battery and that's a big downside. Why add a screw you know, why don't have a simple clip system, so I'm not a big fan of that. But yeah, let me get the body off and show you what's under there. To remove the body you have to undo two tiny screws right over there. I would like to have seen some body clips, but it is what it is. So when you have removed the body, just look at all the wires guys. So all of these wires are for the LEDs inside there. So right over there is your steering servo and we've got a three wire lead and that's great. So this is the motor, but look at all the suspension guys. So we've got a fully adjustable suspension with the camber and tow and that is just amazing. And just look at the front guys, just look at the steering angle. This is just great. So let me put everything back together and show you when the car is powered on. The car is powered on but it took over 2 minutes before the transmitter was bound to the car but now it has and everything is functional. So here you can see the headlight, we've got some indicators in the front and in the rear. So we've got normal lights, brake lights and reverse lights. So there's only one problem with the light, so when you turn the lights off you will still have indicators and while drifting I don't think you are going to use the indicators. So that's maybe a downside but it is what it is. So yeah, let me show you the steering angle. So this is the normal steering angle, press B once and then you will have the high steering angle and look how fast the steering servo is guys. This is just amazing. So the throttle wise this is at low speed. And press A once and then you have got the high speed. 
And this little dial is for the gyro. So currently the gyro is turned off as you can see. But when you turn this dial a little bit upwards, then you will see that the wheels will autocorrect when I move the, uh, yeah, the car from left to right. So this is the gyro setting and this looks like to work fine. So I'm going to build a track and yeah, let's see how good I am in drifting. Because this is the first drift car that I own and I totally don't know how to do it. But yeah, let's find out in a bit. So guys, meanwhile it's a new day because I was driving this car on the concrete but it was just too slippery for this car. So I totally didn't have any control over the car so I went to the thrift shop and bought this carpet. So the carpet is upside down to be more slippery and I think it's much better now. But still you know, I am just not capable enough to drift this car around. I am just spinning out constantly and yeah, I, for sure it's not the car because the car works great, you know. The steering works fine, the, the motor works fine, the, yeah, the gyro works fine, so that's not the problem. It is just me not be able to drift. I watch some videos in the meanwhile just to see how you should do it, but yeah, you know, it's, it's more difficult than it looks. And yeah, all the guys that are like the pros and everything, yeah, I really appreciate those guys. Yeah, putting a lot of hours in all the stunts and everything because it's much more difficult than you think it is but now on the carpet i really have to put some hours in here just to yeah see if i can get any drift but you know for now i will just go back to the working table and give you my final thoughts about this car guys there are two things what we have learned today the first thing drifting is not easy the second thing i suck in drifting so it's not the car to blame the car worked flawlessly i didn't have any problems with this car the motor worked fine the steering angle the gyro inside this car the lighting system so the car worked flawlessly but it's totally up to me i just cannot drift so a thing what i really don't like is the transmitter so the steering on this one is yeah it's too loose and i don't like it at all but overall you will pay around 60 bucks for this car and for the money i think that this is a pretty good purchase especially with the die cast body and all the trim inside this car you know and everything is adjustable like i showed you so yeah for the money i think that this is a pretty good car so i'll put the link down below so if you're a drifter i yeah maybe you, this is the one for you so check it out in the link down below but for this video that was it guys thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you've got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video Bye bye